During the period between 700 and 1200 AD, an Islamic empire stretched from Central Asia to Southern Europe. In this era, the first Muslim caliph to pay attention to astronomy was the Abbasid Abu Jafar al-Mansur, who paid very generously for translators, and thus some astronomical books were translated into Arabic, like the works of Euclid, Archimedes, and Ptolemy, as well as other Greek scientists. Many Muslim scientists excelled in astronomy. Perhaps the reason that the Muslims studied the sky in so much detail was the determination of latitude and longitude. Using the stars, particularly the pole star, as guides, several tables were compiled which calculated the latitude and longitude of important cities in the Islamic world. Using this information, Muslims could be assured that they were praying in the direction of Mecca, as specified in the Quran. Aside from religious uses, astronomy was used as a tool for navigation. For example, the astrolabe, an instrument which calculated the positions of certain stars in order to determine direction, was invented by the Greeks and adopted and perfected by the Arabs. The sextant was developed by the Arabs to be a more sophisticated version of the astrolabe. This piece of technology ultimately became the cornerstone of navigation for European exploration. According to their efforts in astronomy, we can find a very obvious impact on star names. For example, we can recognize the star's Arabic names. Akrab, in the Scorpius constellation, pronounced Akrab, meaning scorpion. Arrakis, in the Draco constellation, pronounced Arrakis, meaning the dancer. Enif, in the Pegasus constellation, pronounced Enf, meaning nose. Ras al-Hag, in Ophicius, pronounced Ras al meaning head of the serpent collector. al in Cepheus, pronounced as the Ra'al Ayman, meaning the right arm. Ras al Gathi in Hercules, pronounced Ras al Gathi, meaning the head of the kneeling man. Al Qaid in Orsa Major. pronounced Al-Qa'id, meaning the leader. Al-Nasl, in Sagittarius, pronounced Al-Nasl, meaning the blade. Zonab al in Libra, pronounced al zanab al meaning the southern claw. Zanab al-Gadi in Capricorn pronounced Zanab al-Gadi meaning tail of the goat. Western science owes a large debt to Islamic and Arab scientists whose contributions range from the Arabic names of the stars which we still use today to the mathematical and astronomical treatises used by Europeans to enter our modern world of science.